Hey, what's up? It's John, and in this video, I'm going to be answering your questions about Delta. It's been six months since this amazing emulator was released, and since then, I'm sure a lot of you all have been enjoying this amazing application. But one of the most anticipated features for Delta is Nintendo DS support, and it still hasn't come out of beta. You can actually get Nintendo DS support on Delta right now if you really wanted to for as low as three dollars by subscribing to the developers patreon you actually can become part of the nintendo ds beta and test it out for yourself however there's still a good amount of work to be done for nintendo ds support in delta before it's released to the public i actually had the chance to ask the developer a few questions about the future of delta so if you follow me or the developer of delta riley testa on twitter you've probably seen that he's been tweeting out a few videos teasing nintendo ds support and the progress that he's been making with it on delta there is some amazing footage of pokemon games running super smooth on Delta without any graphical glitches as well as cheats working in Nintendo DS. However, there's still a few features that the developer is working on to get Nintendo DS support to where he wants it. As of now, he already has save states, cheats, fast forward, and more working, and the next thing that he's going to start working on is microphone support. He's aiming to release a new Nintendo DS beta with all of those features to his Patreon subscribers very soon. So I cannot wait to try that out myself. As of right now, the developer's number one priority is finishing Nintendo DS support for Delta and that will be the next feature out of beta. At this rate, he's aiming for a public launch in the next couple of months. So although Nintendo DS support is almost done, we probably won't see it out to non-Patreon subscribers for another couple of months, which I know sucks, but you can get your hopes up for another awesome feature that will hopefully be out later, which is multiplayer support. This is probably the second most asked question when it comes to Delta is, can you connect to other Delta applications and trade Pokemon or play multiplayer games? And hopefully you will be able to soon. The developer actually shared some footage of Nintendo DS multiplayer working to his Patreon subscribers over on the Discord, but he did give me the okay to share this footage with you guys as well and man it's crazy to see Nintendo DS multiplayer working on Delta that is going to be so much fun and as you can see from this footage he's also using an iPad and that's the next thing I want to talk about most people are always complaining that Delta is letterboxed when they try to play it on their iPad but the developer has been working hard on iPad support since the beginning of Delta and he's been slowly making some steps to get Delta working full screen on iPads and once Nintendo DS support is done that is definitely going to be his next focus and I cannot wait for that I personally have an iPad that I can't wait to start playing Delta with and hopefully in the future I can connect my iPad and my iPhone to play some great multiplayer games using Delta and I hope that this has answered all of your questions the most common ones I get is when is Nintendo DS support coming out and that probably won't be out for another couple of months but you can get it right now if you join the Patreon beta, as well as multiplayer is actually coming to Delta. That's pretty crazy. The developer is very excited to be working on that feature, as well as iPad support will also be out in probably more than a couple of months because that's coming next after Nintendo DS support is out to the public. So with that being said, I hope I answered most of your questions about Delta. If I didn't, then feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I really appreciate it. And finally, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I highly recommend that you subscribe, click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video because I'm gonna be continuing to cover Delta in the future. And I guess I will see you all in my next video. Until then, goodbye.